Okay, uh, my name is David Klinning. I'm a second year student at CMCC. Okay, terrific. And so you were part of the test group yes. that operated the Dynagest equipment for about the last six or seven weeks. That's correct. Okay, I just have about five questions for you. Number one, knowing what you know now about the Dynagest technology, if you were trying to choose a school uh, and you were accepted at both schools and all things were equal, but you knew that one school offered the Dynagest technology and the other did not, would that influence your decision? Uh, yeah, probably. If I knew that I was going to go to two different schools or I had the ability to go to two schools and one offered a, a different method or a take-home method of working on my adjusting skills, I'd probably definitely go with that school. Terrific. State your name, please. I'm Maria Gaddy. Um, if, if I was uh, a trying to get into two schools and one had the Dynagest, yeah, I think I would definitely choose Dynagest, uh, uh, the school that offered Dynagest. Right, uh, my name is Matthew Lee. Uh, I'm a student, second year student at uh, Canadian Memorial Chiropractic College. Okay. I think uh, when considering uh, getting into two different schools that, off, uh, that may have offered a uh, Dynagest tool, I would definitely consider the one that offered the Dynagest tool uh, in the first, uh, first term or uh, of school, um, just because it's very it's very helpful in developing those skills. I'm Leanne Shrum. I'm a second year student at CMC. Um, any school that's you know on the cutting edge and using new technology for teaching purposes might be a better fit than a school that's not open to letting those new technologies in. So I think that might affect it. Terrific. So you you see the Dynagest as something that's pretty much leading edge in chiropractic education at this well, juncture. Well, we don't currently have anything like that, so obviously, it's, right. to me, I've never seen anything like that, so it is leading edge. Right. And have you ever used any of the other devices, like uh, like a speed board? Or... I've tried them. Um, I don't see the same results as I have with the Dynagest. Right. So, and also there's no objective feedback, you don't know exactly. if you're getting, yeah. You don't get the little buzzer sound or the red light when right. you do it wrong. <laughs> so, you know, um, an inanimate device like a speeder board or even a, just a chiropractic table, uh, you're not getting any feedback yeah. at all. You don't know if your speed is getting better. You don't know if your line of drive is straightening out. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Lillian and Yevchas. I would pick the school that used Dynagest if uh, both schools were equal in all terms. My name is Heather Bailey. Um, I would probably definitely consider take that into consideration. Okay. Um, the more tools for adjusting, the better, right? Sure. As a pre-med student, the Dynagest technology is set up such that we have programs whereby a person who has been accepted to a chiropractic college will be able to get the device and train at home before they ever even arrive at the school in order to build up their psychomotor skills and even strength. Uh, some people actually can use a little extra strength in the small groups of their hands and pecs. Uh, if you were offered the device uh, recommended by the school, knowing that you'd be able to use it for say eight to 12 months in the interim, and you had access to the website where you could get very structured, rigorous training uh, that would be a home study program, would you, would you uh, appreciate having the opportunity to do that to get a little edge on your skills before you came to school? And would you think that uh, a price of around two dollars a day would be fair? Uh, yeah, if I had the opportunity to use the technology to improve my adjusting skills before I even got to the school, uh, I, I would take that opportunity. Um, even as cheap, low as two dollars a day, that seems reasonable. Uh, especially if, since they say you need about a, a ten thousand hours to be become good at any skill. So the earlier you start, the better you get. Uh, I think I, I would choose, uh, yeah, I think I, I would definitely choose uh, to take that advantage of using the uh, adjusting tool prior to getting into the school uh, because it takes so long to learn that, that skill that I think having that advantage would be beneficial. Terrific. And as far as the cost of something like that, we're talking about around $2 a day is the number that's being tossed around, less than a cup of Starbucks. Would you think that's a fair price to pay for, for the kind of technology with unlimited access to the, to the interactive website and unlimited use of the device in the interim? Um, I, I think so. Again, if you compare it to a cup of coffee, why not? I, if it's going to help you out in the long run, um, anything that uh, could help you, as long as it's cost effective like that, I think for sure I would spend the money. Uh, I probably would. I know school is uh, costly and you don't really think about those things at first, but if you think about how much a textbook costs 
I mean, paying two dollars a day for something that's going to help train you for your career, I think that's a good investment. Yeah, I think something to use at home, probably work on your adjustment skills and probably be good. Now let's pretend that you're uh, about three years from now and you're a field doctor and you have to do about 40 credit hours uh, a year or every two years in continuing education and you have the opportunity to get some or all of your continuing education hours at home in a home study program with the Dynagest unit to sharpen your skills or to maybe test out a new doctor-patient positioning before you use it in the clinic. Would you be interested in doing something like that if the cost was competitive with other continuing education programs? Uh, yeah, if I had the ability to do my continuing education at home and not really have to go out of my way uh, and it was just as cost effective and equal on par with other continuing education programs, I'd take that opportunity for sure. If I could use the Dynagest at home after I am a chiropractor, that would be beneficial for continuing continue education uh, because it's convenient, you can stay at home, uh, if it's the same amount of money, why not? Um, yeah, for sure. Uh, I think I'd definitely use the Dynagest tool uh, as part of the continuing education. Um, it's definitely helpful for like uh, ameliorating your skills uh, better, becoming better as a health healthcare practitioner in the long run.